You open it, Mrs. Gordon. I can. I'm so excited. The first cover. Isn't it great? It certainly is, Bob. We haven't had anything happen around here like this since that 12-pound salmon Judge Thompson caught ended up on the cover of Fishing Magazine. Miss Carpenter, Mr. Lewis, come have a look. It's Jessica the Crane Girl. Bob! Sorry, folks. I gotta go. I'm late for work already. I love you, Jessica. P.S. I've changed hotel. I am now at the Scala Hotel. Phone number 311-7842. Milan, Italy. Spencer, that's his area. Couldn't make it today. Had a little discussion with a grizzly. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Female grizzly. Guy will jump on anything. Hey, speaking of females, Mrs. Gordon told us you got some mail. When are you gonna let us see it? Easy, boy. We're not talking penthouse here. She's got clothes on. I'm hot for you. What you
back to the hotel.
May I help you, please? Yeah, Frater, I've got to make an overseas phone call to Italy, uh, Milan. Do you have the area code for Milan? Operator, I don't have the area code. Just hurry, please. Warren! Warren, did you get through yet? She's still looking for the area code. Operator, have you found it yet? Just a moment. United States. Here, I think we got the desk clerk. It's night over there. Look, I want to talk to Jessica Crane. This is an emergency. Just a minute. I'm calling the room. No answer. She's probably asleep. Well, look, can you go and check, please? Eric is here. She hasn't come in yet. Well, check anyway. Please, uh, just to make sure. You're sure? You, you looked everywhere. You didn't see any signs of... Signs of what? Never mind. Then she hasn't come in yet. That's right. I've still got the key. Room 303, right? Yes, What are you going to be doing this afternoon? I have a couple of verses, that's oh. all. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come for dinner tonight? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Want to come along? Fine. Yeah. What floor? What floor? Oh, uh, sorry. Three.
Miss Crane. Miss Crane, you in there? Some asshole keeps calling me from America. Yeah? Well, the asshole's here, and Jessica still hasn't come back yet. Who the hell are you? I'm Jessica Crane's brother. And who is Jessica Crane? She, she's a model, an, an American model. I'm worried about her. I, I think she may have been murdered. You're not sure? I saw it. It happened two days ago at the Scala Hotel, room 303. You were there? No, I was in Wyoming. Ah. If I'm not mistaken, Wyoming is a good distance from the Scala Hotel. Yes, about 15 hours by plane. And yet you saw the whole thing? I saw the weapon, a pair of scissors, and I saw the blood, but I couldn't see the killer's face. I'm not surprised seeing that you were in Wyoming. And the body's gone. Nobody. Uh, nobody. And yet you say that there's been a murder and you saw it all, well, almost all from Wyoming. I'll try to explain. Jessica is my twin sister. Stuff like this happens between some twins. It's telepathy, a sixth sense, and it's happened before. That somebody killed your sister? Look, I know that this is hard to believe. But I just flew halfway around the world to tell you about something that I am sure has happened. I didn't just see it. I experienced it, sort of, as if I were Jessica. We've had this kind of connection ever since we were kids. Only this time there wasn't anything I could do. Of course, you've already been to the hotel. Did you find anything, bloodstains or signs of a struggle? No, nothing. Did anyone else uh, see anything? What's the difference? I'm telling you that I saw it. I experienced it. Whatever. <sighs> yeah. But I guess it's not enough to open an investigation, is it? Well, if nothing else, at least I told somebody. Thanks. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. Uh, Jessica Crane, U.S. citizen, professional model, age uh, 21? Yeah. Next month. Missing for two days, Hotel Scala, room 303. Yeah. Picture. Oh, by the way, your watch is still on Wyoming time. We are eight hours ahead here. place we got the 11th commandment thou shall not miss a shoot and if you do you find yourself another agency modelings for professionals only now we keep a running report on every girl here Jessica's missed four shoots which means she's out on her ass and don't come telling me she's fallen in love because if she has 
then she's forgotten the Twelfth Commandment. Thou shalt not give thy heart to other than thine art. That one I made up. What was her last appointment? A shoot with Kenna Masayuki. A, a motorcycle? <laughs> a photographer. Real famous. Karen, would you mind moving left, left, a little bit more? That's good. All right. That's good. Would you mind moving? Huh? Oh, oh, uh, sorry. Uh, are you uh, uh, Keno Yukasama? Masayuki. Oh, that's real close. Uh, look, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, but I've got to talk to you. My name's Bob Crane. I'm Jessica Crane's brother. Let's wrap it up and go home. That night at the disco, she seemed upset. I took her back to the hotel, and that was the last time I saw your sister. You know, the last time I saw her was Christmas two years ago. Since then, I've only seen her in pictures. She's getting more and more beautiful, but I don't know, different. You know, like she was changing. Was there a guy? Uh, an ex, maybe, who might have been mad at her? Well, what kind of life did she have? Who did she hang around with? Can you tell me anything? Model, body, face, a little bit of makeup, a beautiful dress, and nothing underneath. That's all people ask of a model. Nothing. But you want to know what's underneath the dress, what's underneath the exterior. And you think I know just because I took so many pictures of her. I can only tell you how to light her, how to accent her cheekbones, how to make her look lost, sweet, aggressive, provocative. I only know her through this eye here. Jessica's brother. Um, yeah. You, you know her? A little. I heard that you're staying in her room and that you just arrived clear out of the blue from the States. Why? What happened? Who told you all this? The porter at the hotel. I'm staying at the Scala, too. Is it true that Jessica disappeared? Yeah. Yeah. But it might be worse than that. What do you mean? She might be dead. Murdered. Did you say murdered? Yeah. Gary, are you dead? Are you coming or not? My name is Carrie, and I'm in room 207. Who is that guy? Giorgio Poloni. He sells jewels. 
and screws models. for you. Is a carrion 207? No. She's never in. Wait. I'm coming up too. Um, I press three. I know. Uh, have we met before? Yesterday, same elevator. Really? Yeah. I always notice people who don't notice me. Oh, wait, I'll get it. I'll bet you're a model. <laughs> In this place, except for Porky Pig, the maid would like to be, and Terry's Yorkie, we all are. Me. But you could be. You think so, huh? Sure. You're sufficiently good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Whose floor is this? Yours or mine? Uh, it's me. Yours. Well, good night. Um... Barbara. Bob. Uh, see ya. Anche tu sai che appartieni a Pitt. Buona fortuna, bambino. Andiamo, sceriffo, ci hai stancato, dai! Vieni a prendere! Andiamo! Fermi! Il gancio sinistro di Puntarazzi su attacco della vera... Hey, Benji. What's wrong? I don't feel like it. No woman has ever told me that. Yeah? Well, maybe they never experienced what I did. God. You know, every time I come into this house, I see it all over again. Listen, baby. If you can't forget it, that is your problem. And it could be a serious one. <laughs> you mean I might end up like Jessica? You believe some crazy cowboy? The guys put out too many forest fires. He has smoke for brains. Here, baby. Not to trouble us away. Bitch! That was the last of it. Listen, miss, I don't feel like it. I'm going out for some new supplies on both fronts because Mr. Orison the Mood doesn't like Pat's interruptors. 
When I come back, try not to be here, please. Yes, I'd like a taxi at Via Mozart, number 10, please. I need a cab.
a last dress. Time we have a body. I've been doing some research uh, into uh, telepathic phenomena between twins. It's pretty interesting stuff. There's quite a lot of uh, scientific documentation on the subject. They call it uh, empathetic communication. So you see what you saw from thousands of miles away may have really happened. By the way, did you know that uh, Carrie was stabbed with a pair of scissors? What I saw happened to Jess. Exactly. I'm going to need about ten napkins. I never get used to eating this way. You really like this stuff? I was in a skiing accident few years ago. A real bad one. I was buried under an avalanche. Yeah, they had patrols out looking for me, St. Bernard's, you name it. My folks and Jessie got there as soon as they could. As soon as she got there, she went right to the spot and told them to start digging. And there I was, how cold, so to speak. Later she said she felt like a, an iron filing being drawn by a magnet. Somehow we still manage to communicate. Very interesting. You know, I've never much cared for sources the color of blood. Uh, the paper said that uh, Carrie was at Giorgio Poloni's house before she was killed. Right. He's pretty well known here in Milano, a jeweler. Lots of money, lots of girls, lots of parties. She went home with him last night, but somewhere or other they had an argument and she went back to the hotel by herself. So do you think he's clean? No. But he has a cast iron alibi. At least 50 people saw him in a nightclub at the time of the murder. This killer could be uh, some kind of nutcase who hates models. Or he could be uh, someone hired by someone or other in the fashion world. Christ, I don't know. You ask me, they're all crazy. Agencies, models, photographers, money, drugs. Another planet for me. Wrong. It's the planet Earth, just another aspect. We work with photographs, too. You know, identikits, mug shots. And our lineups are just a variation on a fashion parade. The only difference is fashions are seasonal, murder is it's a year-round occurrence. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you I'm retiring in 15 days. This is my last case. I'm going to find your sister dead or alive. Hopefully the latter.
Porky Pig told me I could find you here. I'm surprised he didn't come with you. <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you, I could use a workout myself. States, I never sit still, but here, class is still good. What do you do? Still in school? No, I, I work in a national park. Forest ranger. You know, like Smokey the Bear. It's a great job, though. I love it. Fresh air, beautiful animals. And when you're born in the mountains of Wyoming, there's not a whole lot else you can do. Same goes if you're born in the island of Uland. What? It's in Denmark, Falster. 5,000 inhabitants, including the livestock. <laughs> I had two choices. Work at the local supermarket or shop at it. So I left. I was like Jessie. She sent photos into a New York modeling agency. They wrote back, and the next thing we knew, she was gone. Despite the fact our folks didn't approve. Why not? Dad used to say it was like putting a grizzly bear on Park Avenue. That didn't work. Let's go find your sweatsuit. The vice squad. Homicide. Does the name uh, Christina Landolfi ring any bells? Well, it depends. According to reports, Christina Landolfi rented a room here. Oh, that's right. And disappeared. Without paying her bill. That's why I called you. But what is it? Somebody do it in? I call it. A colleague of mine was here a couple of months ago. Uh, his report says uh, he talked with a friend of hers, uh, Margot Wilson. Ah, the black. They arrived together, but after the other one left, she paid up and moved out. I have the address around here somewhere. She left it in case there was mail for her. Uh, uh, Hotel Scala. Get my bill ready. You check and go, Margot. That's right. You have a change of scenery through the keyhole.
Margot Wilson checked out half an hour ago. Do you have any idea where she went? No, but when I was putting her bags in the cab, I heard her tell the driver, the train station. What's up? Oh, why oh me? I think we're on to something. Come with me. We're looking for a black girl in a red dress with a metal suitcase. Platforms one to ten. The rest are recover the others.
care. I have the dress. I don't have Margot. Where the hell is she, Margot? to talk with Margot Wilson. Ha, huh, so do I. She just disappeared. Come on, Diane. It's okay, hon. Some maniacs tried to kill us. All of us. All of us! I thought maybe you didn't want to be alone. We're being watched. No, leave him open. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one that should be sorry. Probably better this way. Yeah, probably is. Uh, do me a favor, will you? Lock the door. What did you find? Now, Commissioner, we've discovered something very interesting. 
in the beauty kit. Telegramma per il signor Bob Crane. The commissioner will see you now. Commissioner, I have some news. gave some to carry and Jessica Crane. In exchange for what? Silence. It happened at my house about uh, two months ago. I was giving on my special parties. What makes them special is that I only invite one man, me. Giorgio. Ciao. Ciao. Mm -hmm. We brought friends, say hello. That evening, Carrie and Margot brought over a couple of new girlfriends. What are you doing over there by ourselves? Come and join us. I'm leaving. You coming? Okay. Okay. If you're not having fun, I've got another idea. How about a little roulette? Sometimes, at a certain hour of the night, when I've tried everything else, you look for new kicks to leaven up a slow party. Come on, Giorgio, don't play around like that. I'm not playing. Okay, your turn. Come on. Five thousand dollars each. Every time you pull the trigger. Make it ten thousand. You got it.
I owe you ten. Me first. Her name was Christina Randolfi. There were about two minutes of absolute panic. None of us knew what to do. All I knew was that I was in deep shit. I had no desire to be ruined by some crazy ass model who blew her brains out in my living room for 10,000 bucks. Mm, yes. But your only problem was three girls that might not keep their mouths shut. Right. Right. So I decided to shut them up with diamonds. $100,000 worth each. They agreed, naturally. And the same night, the four of us got rid of Christina's body. At this point, our random killer theory goes out of the window. Well, were Carrie's diamonds ever recovered? No. But neither were your sisters. Well, so the killer probably took them. Someone who knew what happened that night. Or maybe someone who was there that night. A diamond thief. Or an executioner. You know what you're thinking. You're thinking, if Jesse weren't dead, only missing, she'd be the prime suspect. Right, again. When you saw what you saw, are you sure that you didn't uh, get your, uh, your wires crossed? Are you sure the scissors weren't in your sister's hand? Tell me again, what exactly did you see? I saw Jessica being murdered. Commissioner? Yes, I'm coming. Uh, oh, excuse me, I have to explore every possibility. That's what I am paid for. Oh, uh... oh, Bob. What was the news you had for me? Uh, there was nothing. Uh, no important, I'll see you. I'm alive. Please go home. I'm in big trouble. Must hide. We'll explain someday. Please go. Don't stop loving me. You're Jesse.
Do you maybe remember the person who sent it? Sorry, but I can't remember everyone who sends a telegram. Well, uh, excuse me, could I see the original form, the one that was filled out by hand? It's against the rules. Please, it's very important. I don't write the rules. What's the matter? Won't he eat? No, poor thing. I don't know what to do. Well, uh, try moving him away from the window. He's probably not eating because the traffic noises are scary. Why not? I've tried everything else. Thank you. Actually, come to think of it, I think I do remember her. A pretty blonde girl, the type you see in magazines. Is this her? Yes, that's her. Thank you. Very much. May I help you? Interpol. The younger man who just left. What did he want? There is also your sister's bill. So what does that have to do with me? Who's going to pay? She will. Call me a cab. I've got a plane too. You're kidding. Just like that? Yeah, I've got to. Mm, what about your sister? I've decided to be realistic about it. Besides, my hanging around here is only going to complicate things. Maybe in other circumstances, things could have been different? Yeah, maybe. Thing is, I'm starting to miss my bears. Say hi to them for me. Now, Pence Airport, please. Brito to headquarters. The American just left the hotel. Don't let him out of your sight. He may lead us to his sister.
You okay, mister? Rizzo here. I have lost him. Damn it.
Yes, Bob. Where are you? You found me. Where? Where are you? Uh, an apartment. I don't know the address. Somebody's coming. Where are you? Tell me. Tell me where you are. I, I, I don't know. Um, a, a building. There's a, there's a, a, a thing outside. It's, I don't know, a sculpture. It turns around. I bought a bunch of stuff for the house. George is in jail. But I'm not going to let him off that easily. Besides, he's the type to get out fast with his connections. Go on, read it. There's the whole story of what happened that night. But of course, you already know it, don't you? I haven't told you yet. The little brother's left. He went back home. I kissed him, you know. I did. I couldn't help it. It was like kissing your lips, my love. I chose this for the curtain. What do you think? Nice, eh? Our little love nest is going to be beautiful. When I think you didn't want to come over anymore. Why did you have to go with Carrie and Margot that night? Those bitches. It changed you. It changed what we had. You started to hate everything. Modeling, Milan, our love affair. It's their fault that you wanted to leave me and get out of Milan. But I didn't let you, did I? Margot already paid for what they did. George was going to pay too. But it's better to let a little time pass first. No one knew about us. No one suspects me. You know what the police are going to think now? That it was you, so you could get all the diamonds. They'll be looking for you. I even made them think that you're still alive.
too hot. I bet there's going to be a thunderstorm. Now what? I don't know. We certainly can't just wait for a screamer. 